Hey, what's good guys? Greg here. I got another rolling video of commentary. This is an old video from me and Alan rolling December 2020. So he pulls butterfly guard and then he switches to an open guard. I am trying to pass. As you can see, uh, my passing skills were kind of bad and we just had to reset. So I wasn't the best at passing. You're going to see me struggle a lot to pass as guard. Um, just for all those that don't know, Alan's been training for a few months um and he kind of started when i did but unfortunately he quit and got to get alan back on the mats like this video if you think alan should go back on the mat so i'm trying to pass him again and i try passing the one side then i'll try passing to the other that's what i often do he did a good part uh with his knee shield and eventually i'd smash pass right through into side control and switch to mount now i didn't really have much subs for him i was more focused on like positional control as you can see i am controlling him quite well and i do um you know the hooks a little bit actually no i didn't switch to grapevine but at one point, I think I do grapevine where you can hook um, the bottom part of the foot like I almost did. And it is harder for them to escape. As you can see, Alan forgot how to escape mount, which, you know, goes to show you should be going to BJJ class and training regularly. But it's OK. I'm going to try to get Alan training again soon. So I am just maintaining mount. This is going to be kind of boring. You're just going to see um, me not really make an advance. Oh, you see like what I did with my ankle. That was the grapevine. So this roll is just a little boring. Like I'm low key stalling because I didn't really know what to do. I should have just given him um, more position work. OK, I just kind of stood up and I'm switching over to neon belly. And oh, I go for his beautiful leg lock attempt that I can't get. But I'm like, ah, Alan's like, oh, fuck. Greg knows leg locks. Damn it, I haven't done this in forever. And this is a blast in the past. And you'll see his face. Pay attention to his face. He's like, oh shit, that's not good. So he does a good job trying to defend it. Uh, I bring his other leg over and see, look at his face. He's like, oh shit. But I can't finish it. I'm trying to heel hook him. I think I was going for a half fast ankle lock, but I'm really trying to heel hook. And what I should have done now, I can finish those, is I should have uh, put it right into like my rib and bicep trapped it. Um, clamped with both um, hands like that and then slowly you know begun to pull the other way because you got to be really careful of heel hooks I think I was also being stupid one and two I was being mindful and not ripping it on Alan because he was a good training partner um still is you know when I do roll with him and he's doing pretty good actually um as you can see he just kind of grabs my foot he's like oh uh oh that's not good he's trying to do something himself but he's more focused on the defense I'm doing a good job keeping constant pressure I should have probably clamped down better with my legs uh as you can see um I was really shit at heel hooking shout out to Danny Katz who's a black belt uh, at Saga BJJ he is really helpful with heel hooks and he's really good at heel hooks as well so that's where I was getting my own heel hook database so like we um we slap bump restart uh it goes into open guard i am beginning to you know figure out where i'm gonna pass as you can see i'm trying to smash pass him and um he does a good job i kind of just went back down almost looked like he swept me and i get him in my close guard so now we're going to be stalling yet again oh you see what i did i kind of swiftly took the back but like i'm crossing my ankles so he could use that against me but alan's not paying attention thankfully so i am safe you don't want to cross your ankles like that you want to try to get your hooks in as soon as possible or transition into a body triangle because they're gonna like use that shit to fuck you up so basically we are continuing on with the pressure and i am going on trying to you know position myself as you can see i'm trying to readjust those micro adjustments at the time i was not a two-stripe white belt so i did not have the micro adjustments <laughs> you know what i mean so again kind of boring to watch because like oh, half, of us, um, well, half of us um half of us the hell i cut myself in half um uh, we both go out of half the frame so you can kind of only see just the legs in his body um but really i'm just trying to um attack him slowly and uh whatever we decide to reset slap bump as you can see we're doing this on yoga mats not the best idea so um the round is actually over but yeah um it's basically con 